Question. Okay. I was in the study of Galatians, and I remember that mainstream Christianity uses Galatians 3, 25. We are no longer under a tutor. This is a very famous passage. Uh, as an excuse for the misconception that we don't need to follow Torah anymore. How would you, we address this misrepresentation of the verse or context? Thank you, Rob and Caleb. And go. Okay. Well, I should probably pull up the, the passage. It's Galatians 3.25. Is that it? Uh, it is Galatians 3.25, yes. Yeah, so we need to read 3.24. It says the Torah literally has become our tutor unto Messiah so that we will, in order that we will be justified by faith. So that's, and we can't read 25 without understanding 24. And of course, already we're jumping into the very middle of a, of a pretty in, intense letter that's really thick with a lot of stuff going on. Um, so verse 24 affirms, this is what I would share with somebody who's struggling with this uh, or trying to help somebody who's struggling with this, is to, to say we have the same word, uh, pedagogos, which is this word uh, where we get pedagogue or tutor. Um, we want to start with verse 24 at the very least and say the Torah is this for us. The Torah is full of signposts pointing to Yeshua and the justification by faith. Yes. This is no different than we could look at the Gospel of John where, where Yeshua is saying, Moses wrote of me. Or at the end of Luke, right, where he goes through the Torah and the prophets and, and talks about the, necess the necessity that the Messiah would suffer these things in order to enter into his glory. And that repentance and forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name among all the nations of the world. Okay, so this is, again, this is shorthand, verse 24. The Torah points to Messiah, Romans 10, right? That the, the telos, or the, the, the goal of the Torah, is the Messiah. The end, meaning that's the, the to under to try to understand the Torah as something other than pointing to Yeshua, is going to be a distortion uh, of of the purpose of of God's revelation in the first place. Justification by faith. Now we move on to verse twenty five, which I think was the focus. Is it says now uh, faith having came, we are not under the tutor. What this means is, for people who are new creations in Messiah, there is no condemnation. This We could read this in Romans 8 also. It says, those who are in Messiah, there is no condemnation. Because the law of the spirit of life in Messiah Yeshua has freed you from the law of sin and death. What does that mean? It means that, that our new life that is is one in which our we we no, no longer owe a sin debt or, or a, a death we don't we know we ne well I guess that is the debt uh, the debt of sin sorry I'm stumbling here it's big big ideas but rather we have died with Messiah and we are now new creations we our life is not to be differentiated from his resurrection life that's what Paul says earlier. In, at the end of chapter two, he says, it's no longer I that live, it's but Messiah Christ, yeah, who lives, lives in, in me. Right. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. This is meaty stuff, but it's, it's the core of Paul saying, those who are in Messiah, are they abide in the blessings of the covenant promises of Abraham, and the Torah is testifies to God's righteousness, testifies to Yeshua's glory, and points towards him. We are not under a threat of punishment because it's, it's paid for. Thank you so much for watching this video. Tell us your thoughts on this subject by leaving a comment in the comment section. 
Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and enable those notifications. And we'll see you in the next video.